Florespark can be an unpredictable city. But fluency doesn't mitigate its problems. In some ways, it amplifies them. This is why we're deployed. But we've seen better days. just now debriefing this mission is not complete i only know of her <laughs> our lack of data collection is a problem valdez i'm aware of your investigative talents braxwell spoke highly of you and that's why you're on this team local law enforcement handles itself very well but there are those with abilities. Some believe themselves to be good. Others don't even attempt to act as if they are. Either way, we're involved. Everyone will agree with our status. But that can be said for anything. May I remind you both we're Alpha Core, and failure is not what we do. what is up everybody i appreciate y'all i have been up look I'm, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you Th this ain't gonna be the longest stream in the world i've been up since four fucking a.m getting things ready been at the warehouse been with the team we've been busy we'll have some uh stuff to talk about let's just say that on some uh some stuff that we've been doing today it's been a crazy day. Alpha Core launching this morning. Us already hitting half a million. Closing in actually on 600,000. As of right now. And it's been an insane release. It's been, it's been incredible. And I just made a post and I and I posted that so I posted this, excuse me, on all, all I think all four on social media. It's for sure it's on my YouTube and Twitter. And you know, look, I, I'll be completely transparent with you guys where do I start y'all gotta understand that alright let me be transparent I, I say basically what I already said let me be transparent the day before the campaign or leading into the campaign that shit can be stressful okay and the reason why i say that is because there's so much going into it and i, I i'm 100 percent talking of like I, i'm willing to talk about it but we had a lot of things that happened prior to or let's, let's say again after Let's actually backtrack a little bit. ISOM 2's fulfillment happens. We immediately get into work on, because this is the first time we've done this, going from one campaign to another. Instead of having y'all wait fucking three years between campaigns, we're delivering on a product 
right after we just delivered the previous one. And that's the first time that we've done it in that short amount of time. Isom 1 and Isom 2, that difference is not too much. So we did what we had to do in implementing the necessary changes to have better fucking releases. That's what it was about, the customers. So we're working very hard to get the books, finish the books, uh, finish the books, to get the books, print it, do all that. And we're, and we're scrambling, doing all that we need to do. We've grown our team. We have more hands on deck, which is positive. And then you lead up into the campaign, and there's two things. It's not just that, okay? The other thing that you also have to consider is that this is the first non-ISOM property of the Ripperverse. So you're going into it with having all of the stuff that we've been working hard on, hoping that everything goes smoothly, the new newly implemented things, on top of it being an untested property. And it's hard to guess that, right? And we don't set, we're not like setting these low campaign goals just to set them. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people do to just, all right, we, you want to pass it, so you just set it low. What we do is we try to gauge, not try, what we do is we're, we're gauging that number or that number, we, we need that to be reflective of how much we've invested in this, how much we feel good about making our money back, yada, yada. That's the number. And these are high numbers. $300,000 is a fucking lot of money. So we set that as our campaign goal. We have this untested property. We have this animation that we dropped and spent a lot of time and effort on. And then the alpha core leading up to that. Everybody's on edge because we want the site to work. We have all this stuff going on. We got a Guatemalan hamsters in place. And despite all that, this has been our most successful in terms of efficiency campaign. It's funny, me and Alex, financial operations manager. Um, let me, let me actually send this, uh, real quick before I actually get going. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Anyway. I was talking to my financial operations manager and Alex. And it's funny. It was weird, right? It's a weird experience because we're sitting here talking about, man, we're not running like chickens with our head cut off. You know, we're not talking like we're not sitting here. Smoke coming out of my ears, me cussing motherfuckers out, leaving a smoke trail wherever I walk because I'm just live. We went into the latter half of the day at the warehouse and we're like, huh. It ain't, it ain't so bad. What we're experiencing right now is not so bad. Most efficient campaign that we we have yet, we have had. I mean, it's thus far, it's been, it's been insane. I'm actually searching something real quick. It, it's been insane. I'm, it's surreal. 
And let me give let me give a big shout out to all the creatives showing love. And I want to really take some time out to do that because these guys ain't got to do that. They don't have to do that. They don't have to sit up there and do all that showing their love that they do. They go out of their way to do that. You know, I mean, the asses of the world, the, you know, my man's Jeremy. Everybody, Gary from Neurotic, all the folks from uh, F&T showed all the love that, that they have and going out their way to do so. I appreciate I appreciate everybody. I can't sit up here and fucking name off every single individual. It's impossible. Uh, even Gina Carano gave shout out, gave us a shout out today. I haven't, you know, I can't go to everybody, but there's some folks that, man, they rock with me and I appreciate and love the fuck out of y'all, man. Like I ain't even joking. You know what I mean? It, it's motherfuckers showing love is what this shit's about. You know, I try to show love to everybody. Look, enemies be damn, haters be damn, but everybody else, man, I, I try to, I try to show fucking love. I try to show love to every single one of you motherfuckers, man. Uh, and you know, at minimum, you ain't gonna hear nothing out of me. No negative words come out of my mouth. And I thank y'all because this is very much a grassroots situation. This goes well because we have you guys talking about it as fans, customers, and even the creators with their followings. It moves because y'all determine that it will, and it's our jobs to deliver on everything that we said that we were going to do. Books, animation, whatever it is that we're working on, it's, in, it's important that we do that to give you something to be enthusiastic. And hate me if you must, but the important thing here is we're we, we're seeing enthusiasm in comics, and that's what that's what the fuck has been missing, man. And it's fun to see. Um, yeah, it's my company and all that shit, but just even as a comic book guy and fan, it's cool to see just people be stoked about some shit, right? Just absolutely fucking stoked about something, genuinely stoked about some shit. Someone asking to chat about ice something too. You can buy some too now. Like we don't stop selling books because the campaign's over. You can always go to riververse.com and get a book. But yeah, man, big shout out to all y'all that's been showing love. I want to thank each and every one of you. You guys are awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, I don't know what the numbers are because. You know, I don't know if it's a cash issue or what, because every time, every time I, the numbers are outdated on every time I look at it, um, it's kind of weird. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. Maybe this will fix it. I have an announcement that I'm gonna make here in a little bit as well. Go see what we got. Yeah, that shit's still doing it, bro. I don't know why. The the numbers aren't updated on mine. So when I look at it from my browser, it's been doing that since early today. Actually, when I said it, I end up scaring our devs because they're like, what, 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 what's going on? So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, hamsters can't. No, nah, it ain't the hamsters. Hamsters are in the service. The service are fine. Yes, yeah, but yes. For, all right, so you're seeing what I'm seeing, where it's stuck at one. I wonder why it's doing that. So you're seeing what I'm seeing, where it's stuck at uh 543 says Nicholas. That's what I have been seeing, but I know it's uh because like sheep just it gave an update. It's almost 580. Yeah, see, you're seeing. See, this is what I see. It's been doing this. It's been doing this for a while. So yeah, someone says Orko the Great says it's stuck at. Stuck at uh, 543 for him as well. Yeah, yeah. Some people are seeing 579. Some people are seeing 543. That's fucking weird. See, y'all seeing what I'm seeing. If I can get one of y'all uh, to to uh, 
to hit our devs up. Uh, I know Andrew's here uh, to see what that's about. Because, yeah, you see in the chat, some people are saying 579, others are saying 543. 579 is the updated number. But what I see is this right here. It's weird. It's not the it's no, it's not it's not that. It's a uh it's a uh I don't know. It's 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 probably an easy fix. But yeah. But either way, thank you all so much uh for the continued support. Uh look, animation just came out incredible. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm glad you guys are enthusiastic about it. I'm glad you guys are just having an absolute fucking blast with this this is what it's about um you get to finally read and by the way i think wednesday i'm gonna be streaming twice this week or tomorrow um i'll be on the real bbc tomorrow i'll also be on tuesday night's main event wednesday chuck and i will be streaming here i'll probably already get the link out chuck and i'll be streaming here so be on the lookout for that Um, on Wednesday, Chuck and me on on this channel. Chuck though will be joining us on Tuesday night's main event tomorrow, so y'all be on the lookout for that. But Chuck and I will be streaming here on Wednesday, talking uh, Alpha Core and everything. As you all see right here, the art for this is fucking unbelievable. Don't forget party. I don't think I don't know if I got it in me. I, I want to do it, party animals tonight. Fuck, man. I'm just gonna be like, look, I'm like, when I say I'm 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 on like fumes right now. Like I guess I've been up since damn near 3 a.m., bro. I don't know if I got it in me. I definitely got I don't got it in me. So as you see, Joe Bennett's art is fucking crazy, man. Look at this shit. And the story, you guys are going to enjoy it so fucking much. Seeing Chuck Dixon and his, and, and his story play out. With Alvacor, as well as Joe Bennett's art, doing what Joe Bennett does best, and that's just absolutely fucking kill it. Did Bennett do the color work? No, we actually had uh, a couple of different um, colorists. Those will be, um, like what you see right here is My Michael Bartolo. He did these pages um, right here. He did most of the book, actually. But yeah, what a fucking job. What a job, man. What a fucking job by this man. And also the covers. See, this is what I like. And I know we don't have updated numbers, right? Uh, well, now it's updated. I guess Chris, Kristen uh, did whatever she needed to do. Um, yeah. Updated numbers there. But the the cool thing about this is like outside of cover A, which I think it's more of it's obviously Joe Bennett's art, so you get the interior artist's depiction of the co co uh, cover. But <clears throat> excuse me, these three covers are all like neck and neck. The amount of people that I've seen be like, I cannot fucking choose between them. And then some say, fuck it, I get them all. That goes to show we're, we're having a strong, uh, like it was a strong cover team, if you will. You got Joe Bennett's cover A, Jack Herbert's cover B with Lillian, as well as Ingrid from the Apple Corps. And then you got over here, cover C, turning and cover, foil. Uh, actually, I have them. Hold on just a second. I don't know why I didn't get them, so y'all can see them in person. Hold up just a second, because I have them. I have each and every one of them.
drei. So. Let's take a look. So, you got cover A right here. Yes, we we launch campaigns with books in hand. Um, we can always, if we need to, reprint the uh, cover D. But this is Joe Bennett's cover A. Looks great. Right there. You got my man Jack Herbert. Cover B, right there. Again, you got Lillian and Ingrid going at it. Really loved how this cover turned out. Loved how all of them turned out. And then you got, of course, cover C, which is the full. And oh man, this bad boy turned out so good. So check this out. For you guys that have Shane's cover, cover uh what was it last time? C as well. You y'all know when y'all get on the pictures, I mean the videos just don't do them justice. But we went for a silver, a silver uh, like last time we had more of a silver kind of deal going on with the luminous. Now we went gold. So you see when that light reflects, it's embossed as well. So as you guys can see, we got like the text is embossed, uh, the. Uh, like Lillian's body is like embossed as well as Michael there, the Alf, uh, like, yeah, in the back alpha core, their stuff is, yeah, it's just, just stop, man. These, these full covers that we've been doing. Yeah. You can kind of see it right now, how embossed that is. Look, even where she's using the powers right there. You see how it's kind of pops out of the cover. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. See. Now, now I'm looking, looking, I'm looking at all y'all in the chat. Yeah, you might want to go get this motherfucker. By the way, only 5,000 of these. Same, similar as uh, last time. Will be available. So go get this. Uh, we got a bitching deal this go around. So uh, that's why it's so much cheaper um, than the what, what the one, uh, excuse me, last time. So it has this gold touch on it, man. It looks so good. Uh, again, look at that. You see, you get it real good, that emboss right there. You really can see, look at Michael's feet. Look at that. See how it's just popping, popping out of the goddamn cover. And I mean, it's in the bag, right? It's in the bag too, right here. Yeah, this bitch came out fucking incredible, man. So big shout out to everybody that got in on this. By the way, I got some updated numbers not too long ago on the CGC. Uh, and it looks like, matter of fact, I'll give you the live numbers. I'll give you the live numbers after I go through this. And then the sleeper mass print. See, when I, when I do these mass prints, I got to make sure that I give you a cover that's going to be iconic, right? That's the point. The point is, this is going to be the one that's, that's going to be associated with this, um, uh, like this book, right? A year's to come. It's hard to see that and envision that now, but as we continue to sell and we grow and people that were not in on the, on the campaign finally get in on it, I figured this was this this was our uh, mass print cover. It's the only one that will be reprinted. But you can you get your first edition print. Thing I love about this man, it's done by Mark Evans, right? Start turning did cover C there, but this is done by Mark Evans, okay? And you see here, paint it. It looks fucking gorgeous, man. It's a different style, right? It's uh, it's it's not standard, right? Mark's a painter. This is what he fucking does. So I loved how this turned out. I'm loving that y'all are loving it. I love that people are having difficulty choosing between this and some of the other covers, despite this being our mass print. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. But yeah, those are all the covers. Now let me go get you some updated numbers real quick because... 
we we know what our CGC numbers are. And I'm going to go ahead and let you in, you guys that are streaming in, on what those numbers look like, by the way. All right. Give me a second. And I'm going to get to the Super Chats and all that stuff. And I have a little announcement that I'm going to make as well. I'll go through the Super Chats, then we'll go through the announcement. All right. Give me some time. Uh, where do I go? Okay, there we go. I also got a message here. Seems I need to tend to. Uh, okay. All right, so as far as books that we have left for the signed and graded copies, scroll down here. So for the signed and graded copies, am I in the right spot? No, I'm not. I'm not even fucking there yet. Man, look at me getting ahead of myself. Hold on. There's not that many left. That's the reason why I want to give this, give you guys this information live. Uh, there's like less than 150 on each one of those. I think except A or B or something like that. Let me see. Okay. Uh, there we go. Sign and grade. It's all there. Okay. All right. So for... Sign a graded A, there's only 115 left. For D, which I just showed you guys here, there's only 110 left. For C, there's only 125 left. And there's, there's uh, for B, 254 left. That's what the one, that, so there's 254 left for that. So, yeah, uh, long story short, those uh, aren't going to be around much longer, but we got a nice little number there. So that's all that's left. Those will not be, uh, we'll be adding any more uh, unless we just see what our numbers are as far as uh, with CGC and we need to put them at the, I don't know, very end of the campaign or something like that. But as far as what our cap is right now, the cap is the cap. Okay. The cap is the cap. All right. Let me get to some of these super chats real quick, man. Again, I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, Tuesday, we got the Real BBC. We got Tuesday Night's Main Event. Chuck Dixon will be joining us on Tuesday Night's Main Event. And we also have um, Wednesday. I'll give you guys a set time. You will see myself as well as Chuck Dixon streaming, streaming together. By the way, you can um, you can get and you know we, we're giving this is a hell of a deal by the way you can get all the Ripperverse book all three of them pick your cover it's, as far as uh, Isom 2 and Isom um, excuse me and Alpha Core 1 for 65 bucks you can get Isom 1 Isom 2 and Alpha Core for 65 bucks um okay <clears throat> Super Chats. That's what I said I was going to do. I'm like, what the fuck did I go over here for? Let me go up here real quick. Again, I appreciate y'all so much. You guys are incredible. All right. So we have uh, scrolling down, scrolling down. There's a lot of them. God damn. Okay. Tim from uh, Cotter Dan says, probably going to catch the stream on replay, but wanted to say welcome to the Riververse, Chuck Dixon and Joe. Congrats, Eric, and thank you all for building this sandbox. Thank you so much. Shout out to everybody showing love. Uh, yes, Chuck Dixon and Joe we got tangible items of them joining the Riververse. Woo! Okay. Um... We got five from Libertarian 05. Two, actually. We got 10 points. 10 points. 10 fucking dollars. 
Uh, he said points because I'm. Uh, he talked about sports, so I said this. He said, Sorry, I can't stay watching. Uh, Luca put in work against the Magic. Congratulations on Alf Cross. He says I almost forgot how about them Cowboys. Go birds, he said. <laughs> Uh, Dewey or Doe with a two says thoughts on background hamster idea I shared on X. I haven't seen it. Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't I go view this from the other tab? That way I don't miss any member messages as well. Again, man, I appreciate y'all. Thumbs the video up if you're hanging out with us, by the way. Again, I have an announcement I'm gonna make after this. Okay. Whoops, wrong shit. Man, I have been up since 4 a.m. Holy shit. Okay. Make sure I didn't miss that. I know I missed all kinds of shit. So let me scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. All right. Okay, we got uh, CJ with a 10. says, congrats on another successful campaign. The hamsters did great. Can we get a shirt with a green background? Uh, And one more poster. Love you guys. Uh, Will Conrad did our posters, by the way. Same guy did the cards. Um, I gotta see what's up. The Wave Blur with a five says, "Big congrats, man! Uh, did you see the tweet that they are making a uh, Miles the main uh, Spider Man for the games, and they're doing a Silk Spider?" Yeah, I, I saw that. Uh, man, I, I can't even muster the fucking. I mean, it ain't like I played fucking Spider Man too, other than seeing. I only saw Beardo play it. That doesn't surprise me at all um but i can't even i couldn't even get mad like maybe if it's just 20 fucking 18 me i'd be like well that's fucking stupid now i'm like whatever you know 13 months from kentucky objectives so i appreciate that 33 excuse me says we're coming for that eric sketch okay let's look at the benchmarks real quick because you, you you guys got a lot a long way to go to get there uh there was a eric sketch and by the way we have 586 almost that's Fucking 600,000 almost. Sorry. My apologies. Anyway. Yeah, you got a long ways to go. Release the Eric sketches at 5 million. Let's go through the through the benchmarks. So we got two benchmarks already. We already have. Give us some time to announce these. Uh... You got uh, the 300 to 500. We got as the, the next goal that we'll be getting. We're going to start production on 700 at, at 750,000 on three new member uh, Riververse uh, books. These are unannounced books. Uh, we have a million Riververse Studios shirt. It's a really cool shirt design, by the way. Uh, that will hit the campaign store. I think that's the only additional thing that we're going to do. Uh, two million. We have a future animation promise. Um, we have three million reveal of Chuck Dixon's book. So you're getting a full reveal of that, not just hey, it's an unannounced book. Uh, four million. We'll promise you guys store statues. Uh, and at five million, we'll release the fucking Eric sketch. So you got a ways to fucking go. You got a long ways to go to get there to to that. But yes. The campaign goal got obliterated within the first fucking who knows. It didn't take long. Like a, it was like a little over an hour. We're closing in also on 5,000 total purchases. So big shout out to all of you guys. But the statue thing, look, statues is about return. Uh, they're difficult to get a return. But, you know, at four million, you just say fuck it, even if you only break even. Even, even if you only break even. So... It's worth it at four million. So we'll see what happens, but that's what we're promising you. Okay, uh, what else we got? What else we got? I'll go back to super chats real quick. So yeah, I just want to talk about about the benchmarks real quick. All right, we have uh, Nightwish fan with a five said you win this round, mutant hamsters. But we'll be back. Yeah, hamsters. I told y'all they wasn't nothing to fuck with. I did not try to tell you. I tried to tell you. Y'all don't listen to me. Uh, 
Uh, we got Michael with a 10 says, congrats uh, for you and your team on 500K. The Q system was fantastic idea. Everything went smooth. Thank you. This is our most smooth project to date. And that's what I like to see, right? It's about improvement. It's about getting better with every aspect of the uh, uh, content from the actual work itself uh, to the uh, to how it's uh, produced, to it getting to you. It's always about making improvements. Uh, and uh, that's a place that we had improvements. Uh, on was the site stability. We wanted to make sure that we had that site stability. And this is why we deployed our Guatemalan uh, steroided hamsters. They were imported and they got the fucking job done. They got the job done. Five from CJ says, very happy to see Lillian and Michael are back. I can't wait to learn more about them. I can already tell you I will love this book. Well, shout out. Philip with a 10. You're going to love it, CJ. Says, uh, salute Eric again. Thank you so much. Eric D. Jew seething right now. Says, Rover. Yes, that's my arch enemy. Nemesis, if you will. J.S. Pena with a five. Says, maybe I missed a stream where you discussed this, but I noticed uh, at checkout on the website that you aren't using USPS for delivery. Is there a reason? Uh, it, it sucks dick. But also, aside from USPS just being dog water uh, in general, it's it's also it's also some business. You know that we had that we kind of got to discuss, right? USPS is an inefficient government operation that you kind of use when you got to use it, right? That's kind of one of those things. And uh, even with you know order or two, sometimes we have to do that. But you know the negotiation is going to come from the more privatized institutions. Uh, that's where you can get deals down, rates down, and all that. As you guys see, our new uh, FedEx. Uh, you know, one rate that we have there uh, for you guys that are just getting like one book. Like that's because we're able to negotiate. USPS ain't trying to negotiate shit. Right. And it, they, they technically will, but it ain't going to be really that competitive. And it's still the service is the service. There's just so much that is offered with like, like, you know, these other companies where I can get, I can get, you know, we get pictures of the delivery and all that shit. You don't get that shit. USPS like shit. It might, they take your USPS will take your package. And then they like, if, if it gets there, it gets there. The niggas walking the way shrugging with your package. We'll see what happens. Essentially what he's happened. What, what, what the, what the person is picking up the item is saying. They're shrugging and saying, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, that, that's why it's not available. Um, it, it's more of, again, because you got to also think about the type of items it is that we sell. Like, while, yeah, technically you could probably get some stuff cheaper. Now, now it's different, right? Uh, now it's a little different. You're starting to see how competitive our rates are for the protection it is that we're offering with it. Like, we're not just sending it in, like, you know, like Amazon, put the bitch in some random shit box and just throw it in there. No bag, no board. It's a, it, they say, hey, it's a trade. Just throw the, bit, throw the bitch in there. See, we ain't doing that. To send it the way that we need to send it to make sure that you don't get the bitch damaged. Um, yeah, that's our, that's our, that's our, that's why we don't use uh, USBS. That's all. But yeah, it's not there. It is not that. That is very true. That's the reason, though. That's the reason. Uh, four months from Jason. I appreciate that. Uh, we have, uh, says, congrats. Let's keep going. You got it. Brandy Clark with a 10. said, crazy stuff to get every damn thing available. Crazy impressed at the Q system. Crazy hype uh, with the rest of the fandom. I don't care what, uh, that the detractors are mocking me for spending $800. See, look. Everybody that goes after my fans, I don't care who you at or where you align politically. If you go after my fans, go fuck yourself. You're a piece of shit. And, that's, and I'm going to stand on that. I don't give a fuck who you are. Um, fuck you if you're going after our, our customers uh, for having some fucking enthusiasm because they don't, they don't, 
maybe they don't possess such enthusiasm about you and your fucking product that that, you know, maybe you can't garner that enthusiasm. But go fuck yourself if you are going after my fucking customers, pieces of shit. But yeah, I've seen it. I, I have seen uh seen that, you know, it's like, oh, wow. Cu- enthusiastic customer uh, buys all this product. Uh, and then they're like, they act like there's something fucking wrong with it. Like, you can tell these motherfuckers ain't never, they ain't never been a part of uh, any sort of uh, fandom, number one. But also, I think this stems from nobody actually likes these motherfuckers. Or likes them enough to be invested. And then, again, that's a give, give and a take type of situation, right? That's a, you have to present a product that people want to be enthusiastic enough about to part ways with whatever amounts of money. And I'm like, if y'all think that's something, y'all out of y'all fucking, bro, y'all know how much money I was spending every week on comic books and comic book accessories, if you will. Let's just say this. $800 ain't fucking shit. When it comes to like how much I was spending a fucking month, every month of disposable income on comic book related shit. So yeah, go fuck yourself if you're going after my fucking customer. These guys are miserable, bro. Fucking losers. Absolute fucking losers. Shout out to you, Brandon Clark. We see you, and I appreciate you so much, homie. Mark Zimmer with a five say you sold more books and have more purchasers, but the money made is uh similar. That shows you the differing price for every thousand books. Uh there was a seven thousand difference. Yeah. Uh yeah. Like, you guys see, this is the cheapest book that we've released so far um, at 28 bucks for a nice standard Riververse standard. I mean, not standard like, you know, you could, yeah, sure, you could pay five bucks for this. And I'm not talking about, like, the title and who it's by, because, yes, this is the Tiny E.T. Code, so this isn't worth a motherfucker. But I'm talking about the physical quality, which, for whatever reason, there's recently some creatives that act like this doesn't matter. Hey, don't talk about your print quality. Look, man, I don't know where y'all got that from, but this is something that you should be talking about. You're selling people physical product. If your print job is shit, your print job is shit. Don't try to don't try to act like, well, the interior work is so fucking good. So we don't care about the print. What the fuck are you talking about? You're selling people physical product. They should. It's realistic for them to expect quality to act like this just doesn't mean anything. Holy shit. Either way, you got the bacon paper right here. It's flapping in the fucking wind. You can get that or you can get this nice sturdy motherfucker. And it ain't just because it's sturdy. Because of, uh, you know, the, the page count, but we are grades above the industry standard in terms of our interior paper stock. Binding. We get the, we, y'all know we love to mix it up. We get our Smite song instead of just traditional glue shit. So it opens well. This is what you want. But this is our cheapest book, 28 bucks. We have not had a book that's been that cheap. 28 fucking bucks. Cash money. Or credit, whatever. You're going to pay Apple, pay all that shit. But yes, this is the cheapest that it's been. Uh, and that's that's a sign of, of negotiation, right? We get to negotiate every campaign. You know, us printers, we have a roundtable discussion. Round table discussion about what this uh what this is gonna be. How much we gonna spend on on X amount and who who's got the competitive rates? We'll see. I see Alex put up a poll on Twitter and it says which merchandise item do I need to lobby for? And it says Ripperverse Pigeon Plushy Roid Hamster Statue. That's interesting. That that can be that's a, that's an interesting one. The Roid Hamster sta- uh, Statue could be uh. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Interesting. Uh, anyway, let me get to these. Uh, these. Let me fly through these. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, to your point, we have cheaper items. Um, the, uh, really everything, even our posters are fucking cheaper. And it was funny. Some idiot was like, I guess he thought he's like, you're making it cheaper was somehow like an example of the business failing. And I was like, okay. Everybody's a fucking business expert on goddamn Twitter. It's kind of, I can't even say it's annoying. It's just, it's just retarded. But the reason why our products are cheaper is because, well, we're, it, we're paying less to make it. See, I don't price based on what people deem as the standard. I price based on two things. How much did it cost me to produce the motherfucker? So that includes art and all that shit. Um, you know, as well as the page count and all that other shit. That's how we price. Don't price based on what some other motherfucker doing. But yes, this is our cheapest cars. These are, I mean, our, this is our cheapest, our cheapest, um, book 28 bucks uh for 96 fucking pages just goes to show and that that's the important thing about the negotiation and understanding volume but yeah seven dollar reduction from uh someone someone brought up in the chat that's uh, actually uh, and uh rika brought, brought she brought it up in the chat seven dollar reduction that's true Stardust Crusader, what's up? Says, uh, hey, River, pick up the uh, Read and Collect Them All bundle. Oh, shout out to you. Says, congrats on another successful campaign. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And by the way, we are 10,000 away from uh, 600,000 in uh, total sales. Shout out. All right, uh, Bruce says, with a five, says, I got to work and catch this. Uh, le- oh, all right, hold on, I already read that shit. I'm on the wrong damn page. Thought as crusade, I appreciate that. We got a five from CJ says, uh, thank you for your hard work you put into this, man. Uh, you could be out there doing boring YouTube drama, but instead uh, you made a great campaign. Yeah, I don't want to be doing that shit. It's just so boring, bro. Um. I don't, yeah, I'm not interested in that. I'm just not. Um, this is far more fun to just talk with the fans, interact with the fans, uh, and actually create. I don't got the time to be streaming fucking seven hours at a time, doing whatever shit, worrying about other motherfuckers. I just, I just don't have the time. Maybe again, maybe in 2019 uh, or 2018 when I wasn't doing shit else, I could do that, but. Like when I say wasn't doing shit else, I was just I was a commentator. But I'm I'm back to being a creative now, and I don't got time for that shit. I, like when I say I don't have time, I'm not saying I don't have time. Like, oh, I'm just saying as a kid, turn, kind of turn a phrase, like as in fuck that. Though it is fuck that shit. I'm more so saying it as like I literally don't have the time. Like I I I can't. I, if I'm doing that, it's getting in the way of my creative stuff. All right. Emperor Helix with a 15 month says, uh, bought the I wanted all pack, buy that Lambo. I'm not buying a Lambo. I'm just going to reinvest the money. Phoenix Gamer with a 10 says, uh, I have a feeling River Verse and my credit card are going to be acquaintance for a very long time. Uh, also, I am working on two short films. Oh, shout out to submit uh, it. Uh, what? To submit in the festivals to compete. Oh, I got you. Wish me the best. Hey, well, good luck, homie. Go for it. Go for it. Um, we have uh, Neil Nimbus with a 10 says, dang, bro, your Royd hamsters had hands today. Congratulations on the campaign, and thank you for making this awesome universe, man. You got it. Told you, man. Our hamsters weren't playing around. Uh, Hunter with a 15 months. Haters be like, site didn't crash. is a failure. <laughs> Oh, it's nothing I could do that haters won't say something's wrong with it, though. So. Much smoother experience is coming from Ash and Lucas says, personally, this time around, you made it a declaration of improvement and kept the promise. Shout out to you, man. Alpha Core, thank you so much. Nothing but W says, Ash and Lucas, 33, whew, 33 months. Shout out. I don't fade with the 15 months says, Braxwell is a true badass. 
Yeah, yeah. Vito Pachai with a five, five gifted. Five gifted. Ain't cheap, by the way. Five gifted subs. Welcome to all the new members. Five gifted memberships when I don't Twitch. Shout out to Vito Prashad, man. You always are showing love, bro. Uh, Lieutenant Hughes with a nine months says, let's fucking go. Alpha Core to the moon. Hashtag we will win. You got it. Yes. Riververse.com. I believe it's a pinned comment. You can go check that out. It is a pinned comment. If you want to go get Alpha Core. Life is good. What a five says thoughts on how a uh, trade paperback will be put together. If there's going to be one, thanks. Uh, place my first order this morning for the 50. We'll be back for the rest. Okay, shout out. Uh, when you, I, I guess you mean like a collection. So maybe something like, I don't know, Isom's ill Five Star could be its own. That's going to be a big-ass book because the bitch going to be 300 pages. So the size of the book, to put that into perspective, it'd be basically, I mean, obviously, you know, these all have bags and boards on them, but it, it's going to be give or take. This size, the book would itself be that that size. Actually, this is three of these is less pages than what the ill advised arc would be. That's gonna be a big ass fucking book. Um, but yeah. We'll see. Thoughts? All right, I just read that. Thank you though. Uh T Ken with a two Australian says, Can we get the poster as a cover or not? Nah, it's too late for that. It's already been a cover. I mean a poster. Shout out to Will Conrad, color by my man's Brett. Billy Chew with a 10 said, which cover is gold embossed? It's this cover. C. This is the cover. Whew. Look at that. Look at how look how that bitch reflects off the light like that. Lillian's pals, you see popping out. Look at that in, in bed, right? The camera's really catching that. I mean, in ball, excuse me. So, yeah, this is it. It's this one. Uh, Wyatt Prince with a two says, honestly thought cover D was drawn by Alex Ross. Because it's painted. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's not Alex Ross. It's Mark Evans. He does incredible work. He's an incredible artist. He's been around the block. Shout out. All right, we have uh, Wyatt Prins. I, I just read that. Uh, Bredicus with a five says, why do I feel like I missed something? Hold up, hold up real quick. Because what? I saw uh, McEnroy before. I don't know where the super chat went, though. Let me go on the back end real quick, make sure I didn't uh, miss it. I feel like I would have went past that. Also, we got some direct donos I'm going to get to here in a little bit, but hold up just a second. Um, Yeah, no, that was... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I missed it. Mac and roll. No message. With a hundred dollars. Mac and roll. Hundred dollars on the table. Says I'm well, I, I can't say he said anything because he didn't say shit. There's no message there. It's not even like a Nothing. It's a blank box, meaning that the that the cocky motherfucker went and put a hundred dollars down and walked the fuck out. Somebody in the chat asked, "When can non-members buy?" Members non-members have been able to buy since ten a.m. Uh, Mac and roll, a hundred dollars. I I respect you. Yeah, saloon double doors are in the chat because they wide the fuck open. 
swinging. I, res I respect it. I do. Shout out McEnroe. No, there's fucking nothing there. Nothing there. Shout out. I mean, shit, shout out. Uh, Bredicus with a five says, you the man. Ripper been subscribed to you for a while. I'm loving the Ripperverse. Just recently discovered your music. You rock, bro. And your rhymes are five. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. By the way, backwards will be returning very soon. Ryan Press Productions, what's up? Patrick says with a five. The, uh, uh, the animation looks great, brother. Let's do this. Hey, I appreciate your support. I, I got to get with you. By the way, those that don't know, uh, he is the designer of the like the the actual design of the cards. Patrick did those, so um, we do have more cards that will be ready to rock. So I got to get with him on designing some of those because we have the artwork done, ready to rock. Uh, Beetle Johnson with a twenty four month says, "I called a gold foil cover days ago in the Gilded chat. That's why y'all need to join the Gilded. You get exclusive information." Shout out Beetle Johnson too from Bredica says could be worse. Could be a Panthers fan like me. Yeah, man. It's fucking Bryce Young. I don't know. Holy shit. Uh, well read comics with a two says you killed it today. Eric. Thanks. Uh, she says, congrats. Big time. Appreciate you. I'm a man of my words. Says Brandon with a $2. Yeah. Uh, Brandon owed me money because we bet in the, in, in the warehouse today, uh, we were doing something, and uh, I couldn't remember what the two million one was, the two million uh, benchmark, and I guessed it correctly. So he owes me money, which just kind of has a way weird way of me giving it right fucking back to him technically because he fucking works for the company. So yeah, uh. W w Wild Dave with a 50. Says, love your comics, Ripper. Got them all. Uh, I follow Lauren Babick and a video shows up. Freaking awesome. Pitch the Veil King for a day cover with you. I knew you're a rapper, but this uh, cover was incredible. Hell, Ripper verse 199. Yeah, me and Lauren go way back. Hey, here's an Easter egg. Uh, you know how far back we go? If you go scroll, if you go to my followers and you scroll all the way down, she was the first person I followed on Twitter. But uh, yeah, shout out Lauren. She's doing something with a bunch of uh, like metal creators or rock creators. Some shit they doing in some mansion shit. I don't know. Um, I'm so disconnected from it. But obviously, y'all know I love Lauren to death, man. She's amazing. What's the shipping rate for a single book to EU? Depending on what part of EU you at. Our rates are solid, bro. If you have not checked our rates. Uh, as of recently, international rates since I, I saw them one, uh, yeah, they're way cheaper. Way cheaper. Got a lot of options just go around. Yeah. I missed Eric Bailey's super chat. Did I? Yeah. What that's meaning is what I what I thought that it mean meant, and that's that on the fan funding I'm not seeing them all. They're not all showing up. The problem is I'm gonna miss the member ones if I if I look at it from the uh, YouTube studio. YouTube needs to get their shit together. But hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, while while this is loading up, we got Zom with a 15 says got in where I fit in. In and out using the queue. No sight crash. Damn, upgraded hamsters and that support pigeon. Uh, well played, Ripper. Well played. We'll get you next time. Also, the Alpha Core artist. Dope. I'll be back. Shout out. All right, so let me see who you're talking about. Um, yeah, I did miss it. Yeah, I don't know why that's not popping up. Another hundred dollars. From Eric Bailey. I always want to say Bayou because of the center back. Who the hell is he, Eric 
why he play for now. He's not with Manchester anymore. Or is he? And he's just like on the pine. Now I'm curious. Oh, this motherfucker's in the Turkish league now. Huh. Interesting. The more you know. But Eric, with a hundred dollars, says Guatemalan hamster core goes per. Says, uh, so happy for you, Ripper, and can't wait to get my order. I want it all. Huge hell to the chat, to the great Chuck D, and of course the Rip Hamster Core. This is just the beginning of something amazing to the moon, baby. Shout out. Shout out. Hey, a hundred dollars ain't cheap, by the way. It's a lot of fucking that's a lot of fucking money. Jesus Christ. Is Eric in the chat? Eric Weathers? He is He's right there. What's up? Man, such a valuable asset to this fucking company, Eric is, man. He's amazing. Needed every every time we needed him today, man. It was right there. Um, okay. Let me know if I miss anything else. Cheap. Uh Bredicus, I read that. Uh I read that. Daniel Well with a two says making comic books. Uh make making comic book. Oh, you're talking about the uh, uh Guatemala hamsters? Okay, maybe. Ashton De, De Rojas with a 20 says, Cover C was badass, and my heart sank when it, uh, it said on the site it sold out for the signed and graded version, but was in stock later on. Happy to get my hands on this copy and can't wait to see Chuck what Chuck's cooking. Yes, yes, we got those back to you because we know our uh, count. We have, uh, and those are signed, by the way, not by me. They're signed by Chuck Dixon. I didn't write the motherfucker. I created the character but I didn't write the book. So Chuck's the one signing them. Our Brown Jordan 10 says next, I will continue my order for more. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I read that. Uh, says next, I'll continue my order for more, not touching my Yara money. Uh, congratulations on the success reverse team and artists. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, we are three thousand dollars actually less away from six hundred fucking thousand. Almost. By the way, we're closing in on five thousand total purchasers. I don't know how many books I, I ain't doing the fucking math. All these obscure numbers. I don't know how many books we're at total sold. Thank you so much. All right. Shout out our Brown Rich Jr. Uh, Jax Perez with a five says, let's go, Ripper. So Aunt Michael and Lillian are in spotlight. And uh, why do you have to make Mike, Michael so damn slick? Hey, he's a slick mother. He's slick. I mean, look at this slick motherfucker, man. I mean, he's slick. You ain't never seen a motherfucker. By the way, full in Boston. You never seen a motherfucker sliding through like that. Right? Sliding through like that. And boss with his eyes lighting up green with both hands in his fucking pockets. You ain't never seen a motherfucker that slick. The slick motherfucker. He's, he's, he's slick, bros. He's fucking slick. Nicholas with a three month says the haters a bunch of unbathed heathens. Like literally. Uh they're literally uh allergic to soap and water. Hell, Riververse, and Alpha Core. Shout out Nicholas. Three months in the game being an ultra, ultra. Uh Vito Prashad with a 20 says. Next time you play party animals, you have to be the pigeon and ass has to be the gorilla. He was a he's a silverback. He's like a little like like white gorilla on there. That's what we was playing with when I was kicking their ass. Uh was that Sunday we were playing? Or was it Saturday? One of those days. 
So not all right. So we're at nine thousand nine hundred twenty-two books sold. He did the math. Shout out to uh, suspects for that. Appreciate that update. Corley with a five says Ripper has a box label smash here uh, to release Guatemalan hamsters in case of emergency. That's true. That's true. Uh, best name I can think of with a five salad. My buddy bar ice on one and two without mentioning any poli uh, politics stuff. And he loved them. Oh, shout out. Great example of work speaking for itself. Absolutely. Hey, man, shout out. Word of mouth, man. Uh, we have T. Kim with a five Australia. says David Finch, uh, Ryan Stegman, Scott Eaton, Billy Tan, Mike Choi, and Jay Lee are more artists you should get on a book. Are they doing interiors these days? A lot of these guys don't be doing interiors, man. Lovecraft Arms for the 28 months. Appreciate that. This got it all added uh, to my slab collection. Congrats. David uh, Winmiller with a five says, just wanted to say you got me into comics for the first time in 30 years. Oh, hell yeah. I bought I some one, two, Alpha Core, and then some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle graphic novels for the daughters. Oh, shout out. Shout out. Almost 10,000 books day one. Yeah. Kind of crazy to think about, but yes. We're on zero with uh, being a member for 32 months, becoming an ultra, ultra. It says, uh, grabbed all covers, T-shirt, and poster. Hell, Riverbird, shout out. We got Badger Toes with a 10. It says, I'm from the UK, and I know the slightly lower cost from ISO on one to order, uh, to just order out of court. Yes, guys, especially if you live in those countries as such. If you have not ordered since ISO on one because of shipping kicking your ass, Go look at our shipping rates. I promise you they are way cheaper than what they have been before. We've been negotiating our pricing down uh, since really ISOM 1. And ISOM 1 was the bargaining chip. That's what we were able to come to the actual table and say, you know what? Let's let's talk. Let's have a discussion about these rates, God damn it, because we, we're doing volume. Who did the poster art? Will Conrad. We need to get that uh, added. It's one of the... Someone uh, over there uh, that's maybe here can message uh, our devs on that. Put that on the poster that Will Conrad is the artist. Brett Smith is the colorist there. But uh, we need to get it added that Will Conrad in the description so they know he's the artist for the poster and he did one hell of a job. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, we got Mark Zimmer with 32 months says no green a shirts uh to be an alpha core member i'm trying to understand it no green a shirts to be an alpha core member i, I don't get it alaskan up with a oh this is becoming a little mac and then we have uh wow man i missed all these huh brian Ancatona with a 50 dollars in note message drops 50 says uh nothing that was one of these bitches Chunks, what we say in Tejas as the deuce. Well, shout out. No message there. Just 50 bucks on the table. I'm out. Green shirts with the Alpha Core logo would be dope. So like an Alpha Core logo shirt? Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Alpha Core logo is fucking shit like that. I love our I love the the text logo in itself. Our our, uh, our logo. I'm gonna call them a logo. It's not even a fucking word, but I love the actual text logo. I love the, the icon logo as well. But the text logo, I really really like. I really really like. Really really cool. All right, uh, who are they fighting on the poster? I don't know, Jackson Perez. Who are they fighting on the poster? <laughs> Dark Ultra with a five says, Alpha Core just kicked my wallet in the nuts. But I have a question. I'm a new with the comic space. So how good is uh, 600K in a few hours? Uh, <laughs> let's just say uh, that is not normal. Um, <laughs> um Guys don't get that in campaigns that they leave on demand for years. Um, that is uh, not normal. Let's just say that. Uh, but our 
Go, we do have standards, so our campaign goal is a pretty high fucking goal. So when you consider the fact that we've uh, doubled <laughs> our campaign goal, that's really the measure. Because I mean, we're, that's who we're technically competing against, right? Ourselves. Chris Nascar, appreciate that sheep. Thank you. Uh, Macabre Society with a seventeen seventy six. Says, uh, last year I had never read an American comic book. Now I have spent nearly $2,000 and count on the Riververse. Shame on you for creating something worth spending my money on. Release the pigeon. Shout out, by the way, and thank you so much. Chuck must be happy, you guys. We got some announcements that'll be, you know, going through the week. Chuck uh, deserves every bit of it. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be getting a fat fucking bonus um, as these numbers start to, con like, as they keep ticking up, so. As uh, we sell more books, uh, Chuck gets more money. That's kind of how it works. Um, and he deserves every fucking bit of it. 600K, are we at 600K? Well, let me refresh this. We are! Fuck! 600K! You psycho son of a bitches. Got that. Our dev said that the postal credit is updated. Woo! 600 fucking K. Also, also, look at that. 5,000 total purchasers. Woo! Literally doubling our sales goal right there. And our sales goal wasn't low. That shit was not cheap. Shout out, man. Appreciate y'all. 600,000 total sales right now. 5,000 total purchases. Thank you all so much. Appreciate y'all. I really do. 600 fucking K. Almost 10,000 books, someone says. That's what the math says. I'm going to trust you on that because I can't do that math. So I'm going to trust, trust that you're correct. I'm going to trust that. Thank you so much. Seriously, though. Seriously. Oh, 15 away from 10K books. Okay. Uh, Andrew with a great question says, if we hit 750,000, are those three books, uh, those other three books, are those three new books in addition to what we know, right? Yes. Those are new books. Those are unannounced books that we have scripts for that we would start producing at 750K. <laughs> Look at Jen and Sylvia says only 4.4 4 million away from the sketch. <laughs> yeah, I got a ways to go to get there. But y'all got, I mean, fucking 75 days. The campaign doesn't end until January the fucking 20th. <laughs> we got a lot of time, fellas and ladies. Shout out. And by the way, again, this is Chuck's hour. So Chuck. He's busy doing some stuff right now. We'll have some announcements on that. But tomorrow he will be on main event with myself over at the G&G's channel. Shout out. It's almost like the reverse is not a fluke. Yeah, it's almost like who did the coloring on Alpha Core? Uh, the ones that you saw, Michael Bartolo did those, the coloring work on that. But we had a couple of different ones. Um, but Michael did most of the coloring on, and on the, on the panels and pages that you see, he did those. He did those. Thank y'all so much. I, I seriously, man, 600 K is fucking nuts. Thank you so much. Nubanitis with a 33 months, nothing there. Uh, just became a super Mac. Thank you. Congrats on the campaign. Proud Alpha Core supporter. Uh, looking forward to the continued world building. Thanks for putting greatness back into comics. Says Grateful Dog with a five. Thank you. Appreciate that. We got seven from Pale Eyes. Says uh, Hell Eric in the Riververse. That animated trailer was slick as fuck. Grab Alpha Core. C and Yaira posted today. I'm excited for Yaira one as well. Tearing the black. I appreciate that. 15 months since I got you tomorrow, homie. 
And what about the Rangers, though, man? What about them? Shout out. World Series. Easy, too. Uh, Pale Eyes, thank you so much for that. Seven. Venom Alistair with a 44 months. Just get the early access. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You get access to all the cool things. We are going to be constantly adding value to those memberships. Garfield's Bizarre Adventure with a five. Says Braxwell. Seems like the type of guy that would kick, open the saloon doors, slam his money on the counter, grab his drink, and moonwalk out of the saloon. Braxwell is. I can see that. He's a... Um, yeah, yeah. Royal Wolf with a 10 says on a USP, USPS tip, I got a, a delivery from them today, a torn empty envelope, a plastic baggie with a note apologizing for the damaged package. <laughs> Bro, I told y'all, giving your shit to USPS is essentially giving it to a man or women or they them, because I'm pretty sure they got some purple hair freaks that are, that are there as well. Um, And then they're just fucking... Sh- shrugging at you as you gave him the package as he chunked the bitch in the back of they they fucking vehicle and they basically saying we'll see what happens just envision that because that's basically how it works you're gonna ask them as they're walking away is it gonna get there yeah perhaps perhaps Hard to say. Uh, JT, welcome to Super Mac. Welcome to being a Super Mac. Uh, we got a uh, well, excuse me, member for 11 months. Random 58 says, what's the chance we get a Valdez poster? Like a straight up Ingram Valdez poster? Look, man, definitely as our release schedule picks up, we're just going to be dropping merchandise items just randomly. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, Dan Katz with a 10 says, got to throw some love to another local Texan. With a heart to make some quality media. I just finished I Sum One uh, and, and I'm in the middle of two and this quality stuff. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. I love what you do, worth every cent. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you, bro. Craig with a five says uh, that Mark Evans cover is fresh as hell, man. It looks good, don't it? Looks good, don't it? Uh, True Vantage R&B fan with a two says, why do all of your haters look like they smell funny? Well, most of them do because they don't wash their ass. Uh, 20 from Samarado with a, again, 20 Insomniac. We are replacing uh, Spider-Man with Peter Darker, CBR immediately after top 10 characters who deserve the Insomniac treatment. I say do it. Replace the OGs with lazy tokens to competition or the competition is taking itself out. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm more at the apathy stage. Hey, uh, you know your neighbors talking, uh, my neighbors, uh, what? You know your neighbors talking uh, about you. I don't know who you're talking, what you're talking about, Todd. Appreciate the 10. Uh, Samarado with a five says, uh, reminder, uh, five million, we get the Eric sketch, spread the word. Appreciate that. Kenny White, what's up, homie? What's up? What's up? I got some messages. I I, I know I've been behind, man. I, I man, my my phone blowed the fuck up today. I got messages I got to get back to. I'm sorry. Uh, Kanan's actually one of them. I know that because uh, I saw his name in there. I just been fucking. It's been a crazy day. Says I uh, just wanted to thank you for creating another space for artists and writers to tell their stories. Kanan White, you've been a crazy good asset. Um, the box that you did was fucking unbelievable. Shout out Kane and White. And uh, he's doing a lot of work with the Ripperverse these days. A drink of crazy. What's up? What's up, man? Good to see you here. It says uh, with a five, North could win. Pull, I pull a US, UPS driver or USPS driver, excuse me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the Fenrinsians. Sweatshop with a five, 600K, as we say here in England. Get in, Eric, you beauty. Thank you so much, man. Shout out to the everybody, man. We got Ripperverse customers worldwide. Someone said in the chat that we're over 10,000 books. I don't know if we have a graphic for that, but we should. Okay, we have uh, a two from Rover. Appreciate that. It says, congrats on your third flop in a row. <laughs> yes. Nomad with three months becoming an ultra max. I don't 
know what to say except hello and congrats on the launch. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. We got a two from Squib says the future of comics is in good hands. Hey, man, we trying. Right, we got ten gifted. Woo! From Vito Prashad, we're closing in on probably getting access to another emote. CRC, uh, by the way, Vito Prashad, that's 15 fucking gifted to you, you son of a bitch. Oh, and by the way, by the way, speaking of short boxes, them bitches sold the fuck out today. Them shits is gone. Man, what a, a cool item that was to release, huh? But yeah, the short boxes is fucking gone. Sorry. And they're not getting reprinted. Uh, so if we may do another box, but the short boxes aren't getting reprinted. They're done. So yeah, short boxes are gone. If we do do another short box, which it's a cool merchandise item. Um, and now that we know how we're going to be selling them and stuff, we can do another one. And, uh, yeah, we're going to make sure that we do do another one at some point. And maybe Kanan does those as well, but it would consider them a collector's box. So we will do another short box with new art at some point. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, Vito Prashad again I appreciate that keep showing the maggots how it's done rip a big up my man says OS Boomer with a CRC 2500 hey I appreciate y'all that cover C is hyper turbo sexy I got mine I drive pro what's up dog says uh, also rip a con win we'll see uh, Roger Mars with a five says this campaign is next level on all levels congratulations to Eric and the Riververse team thank you appreciate that we got OS Boomer also becoming a little man okay uh, Andrew, are you uh, in the chat? I know I saw some messages popping up. I don't know if you're busy. Because if you are not busy, we need to get ready for this announcement. Because um, I'm going to share, actually, the announcement from uh, the Twitters. Uh, no more quitting. As I some said, no more quitting. It's MSK content entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Crash the site. You can't crash it. It's not going to happen. Uh, speaking of, uh, we got great U.S. treasure. What did that say? Great U.S. treasure, uh, Hunt says, uh, with a five, Guatemala hamsters can't be stopped undefeated. I'm ready. All right. Says you're ready. All right. Go ahead and post it. Go ahead and post it, uh, Andrew, if you're ready. I'm um, uh just buzz me as soon as you say it say say it's uh posted. Uh Brockus with a two says uh it's Alpha Core Day. It's a good day, ain't it? Ain't it? Say the word. Hey, right, post it. Go for it. Go for it, Andrew. Go for it. Go for it. He says it's up. Okay. So here's the announcement. There it is. This is big news. Bam! Your cover A reveal for Yaira. Number one, which comes this fucking winner wrote by the, they're in the chat right now. The lovely Sasuke sisters, Deborah Carita on the pencils and ink. 
Jay Brown, colorist, team full of fucking absolute experts. They know what the fuck they doing. Kenny White! That's why I didn't say shit when he came in the chat. Because Kenny White did the fucking cover. So it's a party in this bitch. In the chat right now, you got the writers of the damn story and the cover artists are sitting in the fucking chat right now. Yaira, number one, will be releasing this winter right after Alpha Core. God damn, look at that cover, man. It's, whoo. That shit clean, huh? It's a clean son of a bitch. Shout out Kanan White, who's in the chat, who is the cover artist. Shout out to Jenna Sylvia Saska, who's also in the chat, who are the actual writers of this glorious story. It has been revealed officially. The Yaira. Cover. Main cover. There it is. Right there. I know a lot of people are going to be stoked. Someone said 10 million and a half is a dead. We'll see what happens. Let's get through Alpha Core first. But here you go. Right here. Alpha Core has officially. Well, Alpha Core is still going on. It launched today. But we because we officially hit the fucking markers for actually two of our announcements, I'm giving you one right now. The other one, give us a little time. We'll get that one out to you shortly. But you at least know and you see the cover for Yaira number one right here live. We revealed it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Shout out. Caden White did an incredible job. Brett, the colorist, same colorist that did the well, he's done so much shit for us. Uh, but he's the same co uh, colorist for the poster. He's also the same colorist for the full cover as well. And yeah, he's a, he did the main cover. He did the main cover as well. Brett is the colors for the main cover. He's been one of my go-to colorists here. So shout out to Brett. Shout out to Kane and White. I love how they work. They work together. Just does great work. But big shout out to Kane and White who's in the chat. K Kane is a, a phenomenal. He's just a fucking phenomenal artist. Let's just cut the bullshit. I uh, love working with the dude, man. Um... We got some more stuff that we, we're, we're working on. I got some other stuff to put him on. He's just, I'm, I, I give him work as long as he wants it. That's how I really feel about it. Look, guys that treat me well, I want to treat them well. That's how the way I see it. You know what I mean? So, because um, this has been a life dream. come. It's been a dream come true to be in a position to be able to just fucking make my own fucking comics. So when I got good people that can be a part of the experience, I want to make sure that we keep them around. So that goes for Jen, that goes it's for Jen and Sylvia, that goes for Kaden. Guys that have been been here uh, doing some good work that want to be here. I want to make sure we keep giving them work. But yeah, guys, there it is. You can go to our Twitter, all forms of social media. You can really, really see it. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing a retweet. Matter of fact, I'm going to give it a quote retweet and say, one of those, bam. Holy shit. Shout out Kaden White, man. Shout out again, Sylvia and Jen, Saskas, sisters, the Saskas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Now let's see. Good. Well, hold up. We got. We got what, what, one. One at a time. Damn it. One at a time. Y'all give us a break. Y'all fucking blast it through these goddamn benchmarks. So give us some time. I at least got you one. I get you the gooding announcement soon enough. Nah, for real though, man. Thank y'all so much for the continued support. You guys are amazing. Big shout, big shout out. But yes, now you are seeing the actual cover art for uh, Yaira number one. The main cover, cover A. Shout out, y'all! Again, man, this has been this has been a crazy good day, man. To have a have a campaign so smooth, it's been a, been amazing, man. Again, us being at six hundred, we're at now at six hundred and five thousand, by the way. So we just gained five thousand bucks that that quick. Seriously, though, thank y'all, man. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let me continue on. Let me continue on. Um, okay. All right. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a poll. Let me, let me, let me see if I can do a poll in the chat real quick. Hold up. How, how does this poll shit work? How do you do a poll? One of these bitches. Okay. I'm going to do a poll. And I'm, I will abide by this poll. I'm going to start it. Start it now. I'm going to do this poll. Uh, and we'll see what the what the uh, answers are going to be. I just started the poll. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what the answers are going to be. So I'm going through the super chat. So we're not done here. But G Party Animals is going to get streamed. I, I I done told y'all I'm tired, but I'm a man of the fucking fans. So I'd close this stream down, open up another sun. First of all, I had to get, I got to get some energy in me. So I'm going to go, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to get. Some Red Bull, fucking sugar free, something, God damn it. Something I got to get into me. So I will fucking power through. I'm probably sleeping until, I'm probably sleeping until the real BBC. If I play that shit, because I'm going to sleep for the next 10 hours. So, I guess I've been up since fucking damn three, basically. I got moving at round four. I will abide by the rules of the poll. We will see what the uh, how people are feeling about it. But I will go stream the bitch. If the if that's what the fans write, it's his launch day. It's a special goddamn day. Get some Bud Ice. Nah, no Bud Ice for me. That shit, hell, Bud Ice, hell, boy, that'll kill me. With no sleep. Lady River says, "Go to sleep," and she outvotes. Yeah, technically, she does. I mean, to be honest, but she knows it's, it's launch day. Real BBC tomorrow. Yes, I will be on the Real BBC with uh with uh Gary and Erotic Marlon. I'll be I'll be there tomorrow. Yes, ripping a silverback uh will be happening this week. Uh I may stream twice. I just thought about that. So I may end up streaming twice. I may stream once uh with with Chuck Dixon and then we'll do the uh, we'll do uh we'll see. We'll see. But we we are streaming with Chuck, or we we technically could have Chuck on ripping the silverback.
So the poll right now is, uh, oh, it's actually close. Fifty-five, forty-five. It's close. <clears throat> you do it with that? I, yeah, I mean, we technically could do that. Wouldn't be a problem. But me and Chuck are gonna stream. So the poll is saying yes. Fuck. Okay. I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. Let me fly through these. This, uh, let me fly through this real quick. Fuck. It's launch day, man. Do it live. This is basically like, you know, getting a video game at midnight, bros. Uh, all right. Let's, let's, where am I at? Where am I at? Kanan did a six gun. What's up? Brian says, uh, Kanan did a six gun cover for me that slapped. Oh, shout out. Shout out. Uh, he's so good, man. Uh, Cash for three months says just picked up a sign cover C. And uh, my reader, which is cover D, most likely will pick up more. Uh, still got some time, right? You got fucking 75 days, bro. Uh, Kyle. Kai Battle Kyle with a five says amazing cover. One of the, my favorites so far. Glad I just grabbed my membership. Uh, can't wait until Alpha Core number one arrives. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Man. Uh, Great Ghost with a 10 says, look at the successful motherfucker. Says, uh, got the hamsters upgraded to T-800 T- too. Can't wait. Shout out to Chuck on Alpha Core and can't wait to see what the Saska ladies have for Yaira. Yeah, shout out. 13 months being a mega mag, Mr. 30 below. Y'all recover statue. Let's make it happen. Well, if we have 4 million, perhaps. Todd Howard with a five said your neighbor Chris Bacon was talking about you um, uh, on uh, talk about you. What? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, you, what that's meaning. Uh. Uh, Harry Toe with a 20 says, Cry Baby is uh, crying about getting up early. <laughs> uh, appreciate that, 20. Uh, I Drive Pro with uh, 15 months says, You don't need sleep. Sleep is a sign of weakness. Interesting. Uh, Libertarian 05 with a 2 says, Luca put in work, but I'm glad I caught him live. CJ, 11 months. Thank you so much. Says, get your 600K campaign, then uh, whoop up Jeremy. Okay. Okay. Congrats, says uh, Mountain Mutt. Thank you with it, too. And then 10 gifted subs from uh, Alex. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave y'all with this. It looks like I'll be fun. I-, I probably won't play forever, man. Fuck. But it's launch day. So we figure it out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to leave y'all with the damn trailer. It's been a crazy lunch day, man. I'll see y'all in a bit, though. Let me get something in me, and I'll be there. Thank you, guys. I'll leave y'all with the trailer. If you have not seen it, go pre-order right now at Riververse.com, the Alpha Core number one book. Written by Chuck Dixon. Man. Drawn by the great Joe Bennett. I'll see you guys in a bit. Check this out and peace out. Floor Spark can be an unpredictable city. But fluency doesn't mitigate its problems. In some ways, it amplifies them. This is why we're deployed. We've seen better days.
Then why are we just now debriefing? This mission is not complete. I only know of her. <laughs> Our lack of data collection is a problem. Valdez, I'm aware of your investigative talents. Braxwell spoke highly of you, and that's why you're on this team. Local law enforcement handles itself very well. But there are those with abilities. Some believe themselves to be good. Others don't even attempt to act as if they are. Either way, we're involved. Not everyone will agree with our status. But that can be said for anything. May I remind you both... We're Alpha Core, and failure is not what we do.